All right, so today I'm going to show you how to attach all the pins in this um, board. So we're actually going to be using the 84A. That'd be the pick 16. And so then there's a couple key parts that you'll always need. For the 84A, you're going to take this pin, which is the oscillator, and you're going to move it over to this pin. And the same thing with this other pin, and it'll go right next to this one. Now there's actually one pin in the middle that is unused. And the way that I like to remember this is the nearest one on the oscillator pin goes to the nearest one on the port A18P inner connects and the farthest one goes over to the farthest one and that's actually all you need because everything else is self-contained okay so the purposes of part one um, okay so for the purposes of part one you have a couple of choices you're actually just testing stuff so we're gonna move some port B interrupts over to the ones down here and this is the DBIO interrupts and these power these LEDs down here between my two little circles and you can either use all of port B and just draw them all down like this or you can use only four and so it really doesn't matter it's just you're demonstrating basically and you can use the four in port A too for me I, t I tended to use all of port B just so that way I would have all the pins together and then when you have all this hooked up go ahead and switch these pins around and then press this reset button which looks like it's this one and let it run and what you should see is these LEDs down here will be flashing on and off alright and then for part for labs 2 and 3 they're actually just software so I'm going to show you how you can bring up your simulator and stuff so if you go down to debugger and MP lab this is lab 1 but you can do it with lab 2, lab 3, any lab so go down to debugger choose MP lab sim and that will bring up these bars over here um, go to view now I like to choose program memory because that will show me what I need and I actually need it for one of the labs the file registers special function registers and this very last one's up to you I tend to like to use my memory usage gauge just to see on big programs if I'm coming up near the end of the line and then to make this all look nice you can go to window and then down to tile vertically or if you want tile horizontally and I choose I slowly choose my code window to be one of the bigger ones and my special function registers to be the other big one and then I like to move my memory usage gauge down here. Um, let's see, here they are. And there we go. There we go. Now it's all set up. And so I can edit my code here and do all this. Now if I compile and build it, yes it compiled now we hit this reset and I'll bring this up to the top of the code as, as shown by this little green arrow and then we can either run it and let it animate which, oh hold on I was clicked on the wrong one so you can let it animate which it doesn't appear to be doing or you can step through oh hold on okay so this is actually just run full speed this is animate and you can let it go through like that and you'll see it's slowly changing all this up here 
or you can do step into and you can step step by step if you want you can step over like this step out of the jump and you step through okay this go to statements kind of funny the dollar sign really just means go to the same instruction so the plus one increments it to the next instruction there's no just for timing and then we go to the delay we can step over over and then we get stuck in that loop again and so that's basically all that there is and if you click step over like if you just saw there it was on call delay and then I clicked the step over and we just skipped the whole delay set so that we, we knew the code worked because we've tried it before and so that's all that.